welcome welcome to all the participants uh who joined uh for this for this fourth in a series of this week's retirement readiness week uh, classes uh and today we are going to talk about uh, a very interesting topic on healthcare costs uh, especially healthcare costs in retirement planning and managing the expenses of healthcare some of you who have been regulars on our platform uh, at get set up have been probably hearing about about how in this stage of life one needs to kind of both invest well as well as optimize uh, optimize uh, these savings collected so far and more importantly just manage expenses or manage, managing costs in an efficient and 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 a in a manner which is which actually extends the extends the use of these of these savings that we all have collected while 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 in our working life so the given that background given a lot of conversation in the past we've had healthcare becomes one of the one of the common topics when you're talking about uh, inflation when you're talking about investments when you're talking about about how does one tackle the uh, escalating or inflating healthcare costs which uh, over the years and even in the future we expect it to be uh, fairly high so while there's inflation which is the regular inflation that we all are familiar with uh, healthcare inflation in the past we have spoken about and especially the regulars would would, would 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 know that so once again i'll i'll welcome you to get set up and our, a lot of this uh, well, a lot of this uh, content is available on our app uh, so please do download the app and even this class will get put on on the app uh, while we do the live format today uh, and I'll, many of you who have been uh, regularly attending uh, get set up uh, content uh, would already be familiar but uh, just to familiarize uh, any of the any of the members who joined recently get set up is on a mission to help all the people above the age of 55 to learn new skills connect with others and unlock life experiences more importantly it's a peer to peer platform so we have we have older adults joining us as members and learn from each other our goal is mainly to reduce isolation loneliness and equip the community with the tools and knowledge to age independently in place the community engages in classes online as well as through offline activities like traveling together over short periods or even longer trips so with that uh, let me actually even uh, introduce uh, the topic to you all uh, we're talking about uh, healthcare costs in retirement planning and managing the expenses and today we have uh, our guests from Experitas. Uh, Mr. Jawadwala was supposed to join us. Uh, he's a very senior uh, insurance uh, experience person. Uh, unfortunately, last minute he had an issue. So we have his colleague Rasika join us. And Experitas has been an IRDI licensed composite insurance broker, which basically specializes in bespoke insurance and risk management solutions. With many decades of experience in the industry of insurance, combined with the advanced technology capabilities, they come up with very unique uh, solutions for individuals and corporates. 24-7 uh, protection that extends beyond the standard policy document is one of their, their service uh, uh, mottos. And comprehensive services, including corporate solutions, retail solutions, claims management, tailored insurance products, reinsurance services, and risk management advisory are some of their uh, big services that they provide. It's an award-winning broking uh, outfit, uh, recognized for its excellence in the insurance broking industry, and have been and have won uh, many awards uh, in in servicing. With that, uh, I'd like to actually uh, invite uh, Rasika uh, to to talk about. But Jude's background is is he's he's the serving director at Experitas, and he brings a wealth of experience. But today, instead of Jude. We have Rasika, and she is uh, equally experienced in the insurance business, and will walk us through some of the critical uh, elements of insurance, uh, of health insurance, especially. So, what are the various health insurance options that are available in India? Uh, what is critical illness policy uh, effectively? Uh, managing the out-of-pocket expenses. Uh, you know, you can just change the slide. Uh, managing out-of-pocket uh, costs, and how does one take care of long-term planning? One of the most important things that we have always, uh, and Rasika, we like to kind of uh, ask you that question as we kick this off, is we have seen that uh, that uh, we have experienced in our in our lives that healthcare costs have been have been going up, but more importantly, uh, uh, as you age, there are very various things that happen uh, in the body, and regular checkups are important as such. But what are the typical features that uh, that uh, an insurance uh, policy, so to say, covers, or what are the typical expenses that anybody may get uh, uh, may have to incur on health and healthcare? And uh, could you just highlight 
you know, especially the industries kind of in the last 20 years opened up a little more. Servicing have uh, has happened and more and more features and in policies have, have been added uh, by both the regulatory uh, framework and the push as well as as well as the industry participants and insurance companies have come up with uh, novel features. So could you just highlight the largely main costs that an insurance policy covers and how to kind of just look for it or how does one analyze it uh, uh, in, in terms of thinking when, when most of the individuals uh, have to take a new policy or even renew a policy or even compare policies? Yeah, yeah. We can... Can, I, can I take it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you can go ahead, yeah. Yeah, hello everyone, this is Rasika here. Today, I would like to give you a brief uh, details about the MediClaim policies. I understand uh, looking at the age, what age group, what we have, most of you all must be having the MediClaim policy. So can anybody tell me what is a MediClaim policy? Effectively covering health? The medical, uh, yeah. yes. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I think somebody else is talking. No, go ahead. I was, I was just. No, but for me, I thought it will take care of my medical uh, expenses. But right. uh, when I took it uh, long back, I didn't have so many diseases. Okay. Uh, now I have. And then I can see that uh, um, only in admission, 24 and hours, hours more than that, they will pay you uh, right. some of the amount. Right. The rest of the everything we have to pay. Because now I have done echocardiogram. I did uh, ECG uh, halter monitoring. All these are very expensive. Going to see the doctor in the clinic and the medication. Right. Why can't we get something for that? I don't have pension. Okay. No, ma'am, actually the thing is, basically medical policy is what is just assurance where, uh, where which provides you the immediate financial uh, help in case of any, any emergency. The case what you told me right now, there are certain policies which you cover, which gets you covered for all this also. I understand your policy would be uh, too old. What we need to do is every year, whenever we renew the policy of ours, we need to check what is coming in the market because at present the market is too competitive. So, and, they may chai de aur copy de. Sorry? so just no, just just as Rasika, sorry, and this is for everyone. Just as a housekeeping, we'll be keeping everybody on mute. Uh, please <laughs> put on to your questions and comments and specific uh, towards the end. And Rasika, I think let's just go through uh, the entire okay. process of you know what should be considered. And then okay. as people have questions, uh, ma'am, I'll also request everyone to just put it on the chat and we'll take it towards the end. So yeah, no, pro no problem, sir. Just we'll give us the features of what we should be thinking, how one should be even uh, analyzing, uh, and, and especially one after one turns 55 or 60 towards this stage of life when you're in a corporate life is, is off. And till that yeah. time, most of us are covered by organizations if you're working for a corporate or working for a business house. But uh, how does one kind of go about it? And what are the typical things that one needs to be aware of? Yeah, right. Basically, see, medical, as I told you right now, medical policy is nothing, but it is just a assurance which, is, uh, which provides you uh, the immediate financial requirement of us in any kind of emergencies. Okay, whenever you're taking a policy, firstly, you have to see what are the coverages and the benefits. What, what these days people are doing is they're just checking, checking the price. HDFC ने मुझे 20,000 में policy दिया, बजाज ने मुझे 10,000 में दिया, but they are not checking what are the benefits under the policy. So basically, this base medical policy covers you hospitalization, including all the critical illness. अगर bypass किया है या cancer है, even that hospitalization is included in any of the medical policy. Accident हो गया है, तो accident होने के बाद जो hospitalization का expense होता है, that is covered. Then the pre and the post hospitalization. जैसे pre means 30 days prior अगर आपका कुछ भी medications चल रहा है, and after that you are uh, you are diagnosed with any of kind of a disease. So even that is covered under this medical claim policies, including the cost of the medicines, if any surgery required, doctor's consultation, room rent, ambulance charges, and many more features. If you if you, uh, means these are just the main features which I have highlighted right now. But there are many features in the medical claim policy which is very 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 helpful. Okay, next slide. Okay, 
Now, actually, there are multiple mediclaim policies. Right now, we will just talk about the indemnity plan. Okay. Mediclaim policy is an indemnity plan wherein you get the amount, whatever you are spending in the hospital, whether it is prior to the hospitalization or after the hospitalization, you get the amount for the actual bills you have paid to the hospital. Okay. Critical illness. Critical illness is a benefit plan. This is a uh, this is a plan where you get a lump sum amount. For example, I have cancer. I am diagnosed with cancer. So after the diagnose, I mean, from the day it is diagnosed, after that, 30 days, whatever is the sum in short. For example, I have taken a policy for 50 lakhs. So I will get that full 50 lakhs in a lump sum, lump sum amount in my bank account. Then whether I use it for my illness, whether I use it for some investment, whether I use it for any X, Y, Z reason, I can do that. Okay, then ESI policy. This is the government policy wherein your employer is um, taking a policy for the eligible employees uh, whose salary is less than 21,000. And then we have to declare the family members and then we get that ESIC card and you can get yourself created in any of the government hospitals which are, uh, which are uh, in tie up for this scheme. Okay, and this government health plans, these are the plans which uh, the government every now and then is getting. Uh, earlier it was uh, with a ration card, orange ration card, low to fee, you can go to any of the tied up hospital and get any of the treatments done, whether it is your bypass, whether it is your cancer treatment or any big treatment wherein a wherein, uh, huge amount of money is required. And recently also they have started this PMJY plan wherein uh, uh, the family members are covered up to 5 lakh rupees. Even the same thing, you can go and get yourself treated in the M panel hospital wherever uh, the scheme is working by the government. So you just need to check the list and accordingly you can go and get yourself treated. So let me, uh, Rasika, let me interrupt you over here and maybe we can uh, summarize up to what you're saying is, is so far what you're saying is that a, there are many things that get covered uh, under 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 the medical claim policy. One, uh, but they can broadly be categorized under two parts, which is an indemnity plan, and which is a, the second is a benefit plan. Benefit plan. And these, I'm assuming, or we, is is it they can be combined, right? An indemnity plus a benefit can be taken in as yes. an. Example. Okay, so if that there is... are multiple companies, sir, wherein these two policies are combined in one, and you right. can take it separately also. Right. So, uh, so, and this one needs to be aware that you're covering when you're talking about your medical claim or medical claim as in short we call it, is, is it covers the hospitalization, it covers right. pre and post expenses, it right. covers the cost of medicine and surgery, it covers even the uh, even the part about uh, certain room uh, admission that you may yeah. need to stay at the at the at the uh, you know room rent you, you, you room mentioned. rent yes yeah uh, the doctor's fees and the consultation etc and any ambulance charges but one when one is taking that policy one needs to be kind of even aware of or disclose if there are any existing uh, issues or one is expecting or is there a health checkup required before that. Or can just one get a uh, policy with, with with so any any sir. any specifics that you can just help us understand before yeah. we go to the next part well, of it, sir. Some of the companies are taking this policy without doing any medical test below fifty five or sixty years. Okay, but in case if if I say I have X Y Z uh, medical history, pre -ex for example, आज के दिन में तो सबको diabetes or uh, blood pressure common है, which is there. So some people, some insurance company, what they do is they declare it in the policy, they charge you some loading and they get you covered. Some okay. might not. But for example, if I say right now, if I say I have cancer, so nobody will take me. Even if I ask them to load my policy, they are never going to take me. So pre-existing disease, whatever is there, like for example, when I took a policy, when I take a policy, I have no pre-existing disease. But in case in the mid of the policy, if I have any pre-existing disease, they cannot cancel my policy. The policy will be continued, but whatever disease uh, is uh, diagnosed for me, there would be a waiting period for it. Got it. So it is important to be aware of any pre-existing situation uh, and uh, any of the normal pre-existing, which is based on lifestyle, yes. a lot of us yes. deal with, uh, that is good to be disclosed so that you yeah. don't have an issue. And yes. any in the process, you kind of uh, and most of these policies are anything between one to three year, uh, which needs to be kind of uh, be aware of. So in yeah. that interim, if you contract something, uh, then 
they are bound to cover and, and, and meet the expenses. That's what you're taking the indemnity for, right? For yes. any of those. Yes. So 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 the pre-existing should be disclosed and anything else is, is covered. I think that's 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 fair. Uh, we'll take these questions. Please uh, let them come in, come on the chat. Maybe we can go to the next slide, which is which on Rasika would like to talk about what exactly is, is the policy itself. Tina, can you just switch the slide? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, means uh, uh, like, for example, uh, the claim issue which the ma'am had right now. Uh, in mediclaim policy, there are two kinds of, uh, 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 I mean, claim reimbursement what the insurance provider gives us. One is the cashless facility and the reimbursement facility. Like, uh, for example, uh, we, we don't know when can we fall sick and we need an immediate hospitalization. Even that is a big task. So in this case, cashless facility is available. What you need to do is you just need to go to the hospital. There are these uh, TPA counters, which are the third party administrators, who is a uh, immediator between the insurance company and the hospital. Okay, what they do is they uh, complete the full procedure and they approve a certain amount. For example, the hospital says ki, uh, your bill would be approximate 50,000. They check your policy, they check your coverages, they check your sum insured, the limit you are covered for. And accordingly, what they do is they give an approval for a certain amount. Like suppose 50,000 ki policy hai, to aapko 30,000 ka approval mil gaya. And then after that, at the time of settlement, they settle the maximum amount. And if there is difference, ho gaya, jaise kope lagta hai policies mein, kuch deductions hota hai, because nowadays policies, uh, these policies are also become all customized product. Like you have to take the add-on covers so that there is no deduction at the time of claim. Jaise room rent, ho gaya, consumable items, jaise, uh, hand gloves, uh, then the doctor charges, fair, bhoat sari cheeze hai, which are nowadays getting deducted. So this also can be paid if you take the add-on cover. So one is cashless facility hai, and second is reimbursement. If you have fund, you can definitely pay all the bills, collect all uh, all the payment, collect all the bills and submit it to the insurance company and it would be reimbursed to you within 15 working days. Okay, so understood. So what we're saying is, is there's the cashless and the reimbursement. Cashless facility is especially very helpful for, uh, because one is never uh, prepared for any eventuality yes. that can happen. Yes. And yes. the bills can suddenly run up. So cashless facility at least allows you to just go for the treatment without worrying of being able to pay on the, even an advance or on the spot. Small amount maybe just required. Uh, but if there's a cashless facility, then the hospital starts talking to the insurance company via the, via the TPA. So that in that process, number of days that you are hospitalized, it takes care of the expenses via the cashless facility, right? right. Otherwise... The reimbursement facility anyway is there, which you go, you pay from your pocket, come back, collect all the bills uh, yes. that have been given, submit it for a reimbursement from the insurance company. Okay, I think that's that's well understood. Questions have started coming in, but we'll take them in a, in, in, in a, in a bit. What we'd like to kind of understand from, from you is, and I think some of that question would be covered, especially the segment when you, when you age. Uh, there have been instances also is that, is that, you know, you regularly require for consultation, doctor consultation. So I'll maybe combine the two questions and you can help us in the next section, which is yeah. benefits of health insurance. Why should one take a health insurance cover? One, uh, what is the, uh, what are the, la largely what are the things covered? You already said, but things like uh, a regular checkup or a doctor's consultation or regular medicines, etc., that one needs to purchase. Are there policies out there in the market? We don't have to be specific as uh, as there, but are they available? And and more importantly, I think is till what age one can get coverage. We used to hear till some time back. In fact, there was a recent news article also about the fact that the uh, regulator has now insisted that companies do provide above the age of sixty five also. Uh, especially people who are, uh, you know, as a family, yes, there are group covers available, especially if we are living on ourselves, uh, all by ourselves, then are there policies out there which are above the age of, of say, 55 and all the way up to what age can one get coverage? Any of those would be further helpful uh, in the next section, which is benefits of health insurance. Oh, yes, sir. there are many policies, as you say, right now for regular health checkups and everything. In any of the mediclaim policy, regular health checkups are allowed, but it is after a certain period. It is only after 
three years or four years of the policy that too there should be no claim under the policy but there are certain companies right now who have taken this add on covers wherein you can do yearly uh, health check checkup up to 25000 and but there are the listed standard list of the tests which can be done and in case if uh, like for example uh, i i have some certain issue and i need to go and consult to the doctor so and if the doctor prescribes me to do my ct scan mri which are too costly so there are such policies also who gives you the consultation charges along with the pathology charges whatever you do it so as i told earlier also every year at the time of renewal we need to check what are the more add on covers uh, the particular insurance company has incorporated or if there is any option of porting of the policy to other company where those benefits are available and as you as you said regulator has uh, uh, said that earlier uh, they used to not take the policy where the age is about 60 65 but now they cannot deny taking the policy but in case if there is any major medical history they can reject the proposal and renewal if once you are covered the renewal is lifetime nobody can say no to get yourself covered as per the irda guidelines okay so understood maybe i'll come i'll i'll i'll, I'll reframe some of these things uh tina can we just change the slide please so what are, we we want to want to cover the fact that what are what are what are the what are the large benefits and and if you're saying that or if now that the regulator saying uh, and some questions which have already popped up as well is that if you have been taking at an early stage then renewal still end of life is cannot be denied right. that is the rule right right but can and some comment just came across can somebody if you've not taken a health insurance cover ever but can somebody go and take a cover at the age of 65 or 75 is there any last date uh, before that when somebody needs to cover uh provided you are overall healthy and there's no such uh, pre existing risk the caveat being that they are covering the risk of any a sickness or illness so if you are a healthy person you are deemed to not have any risks immediately so is there any any anything out there any age limit oh uh, no sir as such limit? there is no age limit none of the insurance company has any age limits for the entry age also as i told you it depends on your total health condition if you are well enough to i mean uh, in, if you are in a good health none of the insurance company can decline there is no such entry age for a person to take a mediclaim policy okay so effectively i think the summary over here is 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 that the earlier you take the better it is yes yes so that renewal effectively cannot be denied till end of life right okay so what can happen between taking an end of life is is that your premium may vary depending on uh, any illnesses coming in between or any coverage that you actually exercise and use uh, and, and 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 some of us have had experiences so we're talking from experiences also that if there is no claim then it keeps adding as a bonus to you effectively and your coverage is actually going up which is a good thing so therefore it's always good to take early but then uh, if you could just quickly highlight the benefits and then we can go into go uh, all the other benefits that you've not covered so far and then then maybe uh, talk about the fact that uh, should we be able to should we take just a regular one or crit critical as well uh, given given is is there any yeah. advantage, advantage the basic cover that the basic, yeah. yeah the basic benefits are these only sir what i said is the hospitalization then hospitalization due to any critical illness any accident and uh, immediate funds wherein if we have no funds then uh, this policies are helpful and the pre post hospitalization as i told you there are multiple policies with good good add ons which we can take otherwise none of the insurance company pay for uh, your regular consultation or uh, your you know your test reports whatever you are doing at the pathology so these are all the benefits right now and uh, claim settlement is also become very easy than the earlier ones otherwise earlier it was very difficult to get the claims you know uh, to uh, settle the claims i should say but now it is in a very uh, good uh, service from the insurance creditors so no and even the hospitals every hospitals have kept the uh, tpa counter so that there is no problem in settling the claim and it is a fast going process then of course you get the tax uh, tax saving for uh, this policies 
Got it. Uh, change the slide, please. Uh, the one thing I think, I think, uh, just quickly, if you could cover this part also, since you already said a few times. Yeah, that this is a critical. Yeah, critical illness is an addition to the medical claim policy, sir. In this, as I told earlier, uh, once you're diagnosed with any of the critical illness, in thirty after the thirty days, you get the amount in lump sum. If you're covered for 50 lakhs policy, the 50 lakhs would be uh, credited to your bank account. Then you can use it wherever it is. So in short, it's just a lump sum payment we get. And it, it provides you uh, the coverage against specific life-threatening disease, like cancer, ho gaya, heart attack, ho gaya, per, uh, apna, kya bolte usko? Verico veins, whatever. Whatever is critical, hai, there, are, there is a list of all these critical illness. Around 23, 30 illness is there where you get this lump sum amount anytime. And once that amount is paid, the policy is discontinued. It cannot be continued or it cannot be renewed as well. Got it. So it's a risk cover for something critical and it takes care of it as a lump sum. Uh, I think if you could now cover the part about, uh, about uh, what are the features for a good insurance plan, what all should cover, especially given the demographic that we're talking about as, as you're aging and, and how does one economize the total cost? And I yeah. think those certain questions uh, also will get answered, which have come on the chat box, is in, in, in which, is, which is about about uh, add-on take policies, etc. Yeah, right. If you could just give us some of the strategies and and why do uh, why do why do premiums go up as you age? Uh, what is what is the rationale behind it? That's also a question which has just come in. So some of the thoughts which have been there in in, in people's minds. Yeah. See, uh, to economize the, your medical costs, sir, uh, basically right now, till uh, uh, till now, what we were talking was about the base policy. There is a top-up policy now which has come. It's from many years, actually, wherein uh, uh, the premium wise is also, it's very economical and uh, it gives you a um, higher sum insured with a very minimum premium to be paid. Like, for example, if I'm covering, uh, can you can you change this slide, please? Achha, we have not covered this actually. This is left out. Should this I is... buy a MediClaim or a critical illness? So I would advise that you should have both the policies. As I told you, MediClaim is an indemnity plan and critical illness is a benefit plan. So it is always advisable for you to take both the policies, critical as well as a MediClaim policy. And now how to enhance your MediClaim policy is the top of policy. Next slide. This all we have. I have already told you. Yeah. So top up policies are always cost effective. It extends extends your coverage. For example, you get a higher sum insured. For example, if you have a lakh ka policy, lete ho, to uska premium for the age of 55, it is 48,000. Okay. But that only if you take a 5 lakhs base policy and you top it up for, with a 15 lakhs policy, which I have mentioned, the premium is 29,000 and plus that uh, 8,000 of the of, uh, top up. So it goes to 38,000. So you save 10,000 and you get a coverage of 20 lakhs. Abhi ye mene minimum sum insured liya hai 20 lakhs, but top of policies are covered up to 1 CR. Abhi for example, my age, if I take a 1 CR policy with uh, 10 lakhs deductible, I have to pay a premium of mm, maximum around 10 to 12,000. So in 10 to 12,000, I get covered for 1 CR. This, this is interesting. This is interesting. Let's just go back. I think this is an interesting topic and this is about conversing and optimizing insurance uh, coverage uh, with with least amount or best amount of uh, payout of premium. Yeah. So, so, so if I were to look at it, what you're saying is rather than take for a lump sum coverage, let's say 20 lakh in this example that you're saying, which says that insure yourself for 20 lakhs, as an example, you can split it and reduce your premium costs by splitting it and taking a base policy of, say, 5 lakhs and a top-up of 15 lakhs. Right. So what you're doing over there, if you could just explain what I understand, what you're doing over there is actually is that is 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 that your the top-up will only trigger if your expenses go above 5. Right. And when the company on the other side, which is covering you and indemnifying you for that risk, it's looking at it as a way that, you know, most of the sicknesses will fall under the five lakh bucket. 
and and only if, what is the chance of you falling be in that 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 probability that they are adjusting and therefore they they charging only for that if if you break yeah. that so hence mathematically one can actually try and take the same coverage but by paying breaking the policies and taking yes. and yes. and e easing oneself this yes. is important because as you're as you as you step into this you're not being covered by a company salaries are kind of more or less gone you're paying out of your savings and investments or your retirement fund this way of covering actually is is quite interesting and, and efficient maybe you can is, is there a mathematical example that we can uh i think there is one in, on one of your slides you can just highlight that and it will become quite clear to a lot of us uh on on how to make it cost effective yeah, uh, in the next uh, slide only, there is a grid where I have showed two examples. That is a base policy and the topper policy. At the age of 55, if I take 20 lakhs policy, the premium is 48,859. That is approximate 49,000 if you round off. If the same policy, if I take the base policy for 5 lakhs, is 30,000 approximate. With the 15 lakhs top up, if you see, I'm just paying 8,567. That is at the age of 55. Now, if I take the base policy for 20 lakhs ka base policy, leti hu, to the premium would be around 40,000. And here, I... 49,000, yeah. No, this is for 20 lakhs, right? Okay, Abhi correct. Now, here, 15 lakhs, ka, I'm paying for the top up is only 8,500. Correct. If I instead of this base policy 20 lakhs, even if I take it to 15 lakhs, the premium would be approximate 40,000. So 40,000 and 8,500, that is a vast difference. Okay, why this top up are very economical is usually top up is very low in the job. When when you are into, uh, uh, I mean, like cancer, ho gaya, where regular treatment is required, chemo, hai, radiation, hai, wherein the expenses are too large. Ek -ek blood reports, ya, ek -ek test, ya, ek -ek chemotherapy bhi 30, 30, ki hoti hai. That time, all these policies are required. But if there is normal hospitalization, like something happened, normal, you have been admitted for 2-3 days, then your base policy is adjusted. So over and above, when your base policy is finished, then the top-up comes in. As I told you, this is uh, helpful only when you are uh, diagnosed with very serious kind of a conditions. Okay, and one more I would like to say, the more your base policy is higher, the more your premium is top-up and it is reduced. Okay, abhi so, mere paas bhi, uh, the clients which I have, abhi about 60, hai, retired, ho they don't have these funds for the base policy. In case in future you have a top up policy, and by some of the other reason, if you have a base policy ka premium, nahi bhara, and if you are uh, capable of paying at least that 8,500 for the top up policy, so if you have a major illness, then the base ka, for your ap, example, uh, 3 lakh ka base policy, so 3 lakh you have to pocket in your pocket. Upe ka pandra lakh aapko insurance company degi hi degi and you are paying only 8,500 for that. Understood. Understood. It, just a related question and I'll take some more from, 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 the, from the chat also. Just yeah. a related question. Does the top up need to be taken up from the same insurance company or can one look at a base policy or something and, and, and a top up from somewhere else? It's 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 completely okay. So it is not necessary to keep your base and the top of policy with the same insurance company. You can take it with the other insurance company. But if right now anybody is taking any fresh policy from me, I would advise them to take it with the same company because it is more helpful at the time of claim. But if I already have a policy for 10 years in XYZ company, mein, so it's not necessary I have to go with the same company which has features come ho, and I'm getting another option with more features with another insurance company. It's completely okay, sir. Okay, understood. Let's quickly cover some of the material that is still available at your end and then take some more deeper questions because a lot of questions are coming on chat with regard yeah. to taxation, uh, with regard to, uh, to, to group policy as in family cover, floating family cover uh, as the term the insurance companies use. And 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 even 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 the uh, no claim bonus. So some of these topics we'll quickly cover afterwards. Just uh, finish. I think uh, that you have a few more to talk about in terms of uh, on uh, the, the the basic discussion. So, Tina, you can just switch the slides to the next yeah. couple of ones. Which are, yeah. Uh, when I started the conversation, I had highlighted that uh, you should always compare the benefits and the coverages what our insurance provider is giving. 
आजकल लोग वो देखते नहीं है जिस दे चेक द प्रीमियम एंड जिस दे जस्ट टेक द पॉलिसी बिकॉज नावर डेज बैंक एंड एवरीबडी आर गिविंग द पॉलिसी बट दे आर लिमिटिंग द कवरेजेस सो ऑलवेज चीपेस्ट इज नॉट द बेस्ट आई वुड आई एम ट्राइंग टू से इन दिस लाइड यू नीड टू चेक ईच एंड एवरी कवरेजेस बिकॉज इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज आर गिविंग मोर एंड मोर एड ऑन्स सम कंपनीज आर चार्जिंग फॉर इट सम कंपनीज आर हैविंग इन बिल्ड इन इट लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव गिविन in of a public sector and a private sector one is oriental and another is hdfc if you see in both the coverages there is vast difference and the premium if you see it's uh, i mean uh, jaise for example ye oriental ka ye plan mein lungi the premium is around 37000 aur ye mein hdfc ka plan lungi to 48000 but 37 and 48000 mein the difference is 9 to 10000 what, whatever extra but there are many benefits for example room rent hai अभी आजकल एवरीबडी मेजर ऑफ द पीपल डोंट प्रीफर द जनरल वर्ड दे ऑलवेज प्रीफर टू गो इन ट्विन शेयरिंग और सिंगल रूम सो द ओरियंटल इंश्योरेंस कंपनी जैसे आई एम नॉट नेमिंग इट बट एनी सम कंपनीज वेर देर आर रिस्ट्रिक्शन देखिए वन परसेंट ऑफ द सम इंश्योर अगर मेरा दो लाख का सम इंश्योर तो मुझे खाली दो ही हजार का रूम मिल सकता है उसमें भी टेन परसेंट का को पेमेंट लगता है मीन्स टेन परसेंट कट करके जो रूम आएगा और उसी टेन परसेंट उसी वन परसेंट ऑफ सम इंश्योर में यू हैव टू इंक्लूड योर डॉक्टर चार्जेस यू हैव टू इंक्लूड योर कंज्यूमेबल चार्जेस ऑल द चार्जेस सो इट इज नॉट हेल्पफुल वेर इन अदर कंपनीज जो अप टू सम इंश्योर देते हैं रूम रेंट आई कैन गो अप टू एनी लेवल जैसे पांच हजार का रूम है आठ हजार का रूम है देर इज नो रिस्ट्रिक्शन आई कैन टेक अ डबल शेयरिंग रूम आई कैन टेक अ सिंगल शेयरिंग रूम इट इज नॉट रिस्ट्रिक्टेड कि मुझे इतने ही अमाउंट तक का लेना है बिकॉज एवरी हॉस्पिटल हैज डिफरेंट रूम रेंट्स मैं नॉर्मल हॉस्पिटल में जाऊंगी तो मुझे हजार रुपए में भी डबल शेयरिंग मिल जाएगा द सेम थिंग इफ आई गो टू कोकिला और इंदुजा आई विल बी चार्ज फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज so no fair enough i think the next two slides also cover that so maybe quickly just uh, roll the slides uh, tina but effectively what you're saying is now i'll just summarize our entire discussion and then we can quickly take in questions we've done about 40 45 minutes so we yeah. we have next 15 20 minutes for question answers so effectively what you're saying is one get yourself adequately covered so know yourself better enough get yourself covered earlier in the in the age so that you can take advantage of of continuity uh uh do a combination of of a base and a, and a, and a top up to ensure that you are economically using using uh, your your outflow every year which is which is the premium and uh in the premium comparison please also compare the various features and coverage because cheapest may not be always always the best or the best in terms of coverage may not always be Servicing you best at the end also because one needs to go and claim also at the end of it, right? So right. compare these two or three things. Ah, uh, take the help of an advisor, and I think a few questions ah uh, that people would if if they remain an an answer today, please get in touch with uh, get set up. We will facilitate those with expiriters and get those answered, or even get you connected with uh, specialists at expiriters who can who can help ah uh, you know structure some of these things. Ah, uh, Rasika, maybe we can start taking questions. Ah, uh, yes, some. Sir. some of them are specific so let me just quickly run them through uh, one i think you had already covered but i'll still probably ask that question uh, is there any policy which covers routine medical expenses like doctor consultation medicines medical tests without hospitalization so quickly i think you covered it but quickly you can answer that uh, once yes, again yes you can cover that okay. there are certain add ons in certain insurance company where you need to pay a little extra premium and you get that covered So regular checkups, regular tests are covered as in general. Which one covers? We don't know. You'll have to do an analysis of the market yeah. and check that. Uh, second question around this, around no, no, not this. Sorry, is the age limit? Do they give for eighty plus seniors? Please let me know. Is the question? I think you've already answered that there is no limit anymore. The law has said that above sixty five also need to be given policies, uh, and as long as there are no pre existing situations, one has a has a right. as per law now to get a policy correct yes sir correct sir okay uh somebody's commented uh, i think sunita mehta has commented none of the insurance companies give medical medical insurance if the age is 75 plus i think that will change now ma'am but uh, rasika you can confirm that because that yeah. used to be probably an earlier philosophy the new uh, guideline or dictat which has come from the regulator is probably couple of months old Rasika, yeah. can you just confirm that It's just two three months back only, sir. Where this regulator has come. 
uh, they cannot deny in taking but as i told the medical history should not be you know because at this age for insurance company to take this policy with medical history is uh, not uh, beneficial because as a temp claim ana is very 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 uh, you know possible possible yeah uh i think shireen's question should have been answered how can we add on uh, have how can we add on in this age any age limitations to the add on policy so is add on does that have any limit if add -on you have covers, a the, the add ons which we are talking all companies are not having so it depends existing policy unki kaun si hai uske hisab okay. se wo add on milega unko you cannot take a separate add on policy okay so it depends on the policy aap le sakte ho और वो टॉप ऑफ पॉलिसी में लेते वक्त वो कंपनी के पास अगर ये सब एड ऑन्स है तो यू कैन एड इट अप ओके समरी हैज अ नो क्लेम इशू व्हिच इज सेइंग दैट इन स्पाइट ऑफ हैविंग नो क्लेम सिंस लास्ट 5 इयर्स द प्रीमियम हैज शॉट अप 25% विदाउट एनी एडिशनल बेनिफिट्स एनी कमेंट अराउंड दैट रसिका व्हाई वुड दैट हैपन एनी एनी रीजन फॉर दैट सो दैट दे कैन गो बैक एंड आर्ग्यू और 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 गेट द बेस्ट सर्विस दैट दे नीड टू गेट आई डिडंट गेट दिस क्वेश्चन देयर इज नो क्लेम फ्रॉम लास्ट 5 इयर्स Yeah, but the premium has still gone up twenty five percent without any additional yeah. benefits. Sir, earlier there used to be a no claim bonus discount, wherein what they used to do, they used to reduce the premium if there was no claim. But that is discontinued. I guess last twelve thirteen years back only they stopped that no claim bonus discount. What they do is they enhance the sum insured. The premium remains the same, or it changes when the rates have changed of the insurance company or. Uh, the um, what do you say? You uh, age, uh, age lab has changed of the particular person, but what they do is they give it give it to you as a cumulative bonus, which you said in uh, said it earlier. They add up to your sum insured, sir. So there is no such no claim discount where if you don't claim, your premium is reduced. Okay, so it's the other way around. They don't give you a discount anymore on the premium that you pay, but yeah. add it add it on the other side because you have not claimed the the coverage amount is going up. Yes, so right, what, sir. what you can kind of think is and i'm i'm suggesting uh, as as some individuals personally have known to me have, is what you can think of is get yourself check get yourself uh, uh, get the insurance company to give you what's the total coverage today and you may probably want to reduce the base itself because you've got add on coverage if you feel that you're less risky but it's a strategy more to probably even even at at any age to kind of just consider every few years whether you are adequately covered or not right uh taxation question is the tax saving still there under the new regime yes yes sir atd atd it comes under atd okay yeah. uh somebody's question there also should have gone sir answer my ca says that there is no tax saving so please maybe speak to the ca again uh i think family members got covered uh quick quick one i think any policy covering dental treatment dental treatment as of today there is no such policy where it is covered in the mediclaim policy only if there is any tab bhi hoga agar mujhe normal dental problem hai that is not covered thank you i am struggling with that myself so thank you so normal you. dental uh, this is not covered but if i meet with some accident which leads to any of my dental issues and needs to be corrected that time it is covered got it so as long as you are keeping your teeth healthy uh it's 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 fine for regular check or regular dental treatments it's not covered yes. but if it comes as part of say uh, a disease covered or an accidental insurance then you'll you'll yes. uh, you'll have of your jaw hope sh should not happen do not wish to anyone but if your jaw gets uh, that time it will get covered right. but that and the accident part of it okay what is the difference between the ayushman card and a medical policy that's an interesting question The yeah, the Aishman Aishman card, card is that government policy, sir, which we we are not uh, selling. Is usually this government scheme, which are uh, given at some uh, tied up hospital, wherein जो मैंने starting में बोला था five lakhs तब आप covered होते किसी किसी में वो ration card वाला है जैसे orange ration card है then you get that, you know. And now uh, recently this uh, scheme is there wherein your whole family is covered up to five lakh rupees. कुछ भी होता है योर डायग्नोस यू कैन गेट एनी सर्जरी और एनीथिंग डन फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट नो इंटरेस्टिंग नाउ द द यू जस्ट हाइलाइटेड समथिंग सो द आयुष्मान कार्ड इज एक्चुअली और आयुष्मान कवरेज इज अंडर द गवर्नमेंट स्कीम वेयर आई थिंक इफ यू हैव अ सर्टेन राशन कार्ड स्टेटस 
uh, you can go and apply for it. Uh, I, I, I know a lot of uh, organizations, stroke, uh, stroke uh, building societies and uh, resident welfare associations organize camps for a lot of domestic help and, and, and staff and, and the security staff, etc. for, for Aishman. So, okay, that's, that's, that's what it covers. Okay. Can Ayurveda treatment be covered under uh, medical? Yes, sir. It's covered. Huh? But it should be done only in the government hospital. Okay. But so... it is covered up to the sum insured at any government hospital. Abhi recently, I had one claim wherein that person, he had some eye issue for his son. He went to Kerala and did some Ayurvedic treatment of lack of rupees. That is not covered. You need okay. to do the treatment in any of the government hospital. Okay, so Ayurveda is covered as long as it's within a uh, as long as it is treated at a government hospital. Government okay. hospital, yes. Okay, a question which probably has partially been covered, but uh, I'll still take it up. Uh, Narayan Hinduja's question: You talked about the no claim bonus. Uh, my insurance company did not give any benefits. I think maybe probably what you said is right: is that the coverage would have gone up. Uh, you may not be aware of it. Or if it's not been there, then I think it's a discussion to have with the company that you've not claimed anything. My coverage should technically go up because I've not claimed anything. That should be the argument, right? Right. And it depends, uh, first of all, which company it is. Because in public sector, there are a lot of restrictions. Hai. Then whether that plan, that plan has that restoration benefits. That is for restoration benefits and cumulative bonus. So you need to check. If you can share with me your policy, I can definitely check and help. Yeah. So once again, I think uh, as get set up, we are we are we are doing uh, uh, this retirement week is is being addressed for all our community members where we are covering a lot of topics. So today's being health insurance and expeditors is one of the experts talking about it. Uh, download our app uh, and you'll be able to get a lot of this content available. And for getting in touch with uh, with any of uh, any of the get set up uh, uh, community leads. Just drop us a line. Maybe uh, Avijit, just please put chat on the chat, the phone number and the link that they can reach out to. And we can facilitate some of these discussions with expeditors or any other specialist in, our, in the retirement topic. Uh, one question, which is on the porting you mentioned, is, is a related. What is the benefit if I switch my policy? Firstly, can I? And if I can, uh, what should I be thinking about it? And what is the process Means we we know people who've been using mobile phones for years. Porting of mobile carriers came in many many years back, but porting yeah. of insurance also came a few years back. So could you yes. just help us with that? Yes, so you can port out your uh, policy from one company to another. Only it should be prior forty five days because there is some time to take the approval and get the uh, things checked. While porting out also one uh, main reason uh, main uh, this is uh, your health condition. If you have no pre-existing disease, it is very easy for you to port out. And while porting out, for example, the like uh, the chart which I had uh, showed, Oriental, where they are having very limited covers. So in, where I have such kind of a policy, it is always advisable to go for a better coverage. So there you can port out the policy. That is no, no issue at all. Okay, interesting. One of the things that can happen is, and maybe, maybe uh, while some more questions come in, so please... Keep posting your question in the chat. We have a few more minutes and advantage of, of Rasika being with us so we can take maximum advantage of the expert opinion over here. But uh, but while more questions come in, uh, oh, sorry, I just noticed a comment which says that uh, would like to have another session on this topic so we can clear our doubts. Uh, most welcome. Please be on, on, on Get Set Up platform. We do these kind of sessions regularly. You'll hear more from us. But, uh, uh, you know, uh, for that, uh, just, just be engaged with us and we'll, we'll let you know when the next session similarly is happening. Or maybe just put in your specific doubts and we'll get those answered and we'll put it for the whole community to kind of uh, learn from those answers. Anybody can log in and, and, and look at those answers that Expeditors provides. Uh, one of the things that importing uh, is, is my experience personally has been and uh, while you just said that it's it's easy if you don't have any pre-existing, etc. What a strategy of letting one be there, which I mentioned earlier, is taking an add-on from a different company, which is effectively you've kind of increased your coverage as well as kind of combined porting versus, versus uh, uh, still staying with the same company. So I can have two. Yeah. And, 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 and slowly port it over. For example, I have a company A today. 
And I may have a minor pre-existing, which is there. But instead of porting, because porting has been difficult, I take a fresh new one with a new one yes. with a pre-existing disclosure. Yes. And start weeding this out and stop paying this after one or two years. Four years. No, sir. Minimum, you'll have to keep four, it for okay. four, four years. years. So if you're financially four. okay to pay both the policies, you can do that. So portability is also not required and you're covered well enough and no pre-existing disease ka ginger is there. Okay, so what, what can be done is, 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 is take a very small one, new, yeah. so that financially it's not too much of a burden. And right. slowly, which is four years, yeah. weave this off completely and take an add-on over there. Add-on over there, yes. Okay. Uh, I think I think I think these are some trade secrets that we that that that, that, that nobody kind of advises us as upfront and uh, having the benefit of 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 a structure like yourselves with years and years of experience in the insurance business is very helpful for our community because health costs have been going up uh, uh, and that's one of the and longevity is increasing uh, so we are all going to be uh, living much longer so we rather live healthily. Uh, and enjoy enjoy a, a, a journey of lifelong learning at Get Set Up. So that's our, that's our mission. Uh, we have been providing this kind of a content for a couple of years now, and our membership is growing. So once again, uh, letting the community members know, we've just put the link of the app as well on the chat. Uh, please uh, keep posting your questions while Rasika is still there, but do get in touch with your community members at Get Set Up, and we'll be creating more such content for uh, everybody to take take benefit from. So whether it's an insurance, whether it's some financial planning, whether it's on retirement uh, issues uh, or uh, some of the other community activities that we keep doing, uh, singing, dancing and, and cooking and many others. So just have a feel of, of Get Set Up platform uh, for all those who are not already members. Uh, maybe I'll probably just wait on for another 30 seconds to a minute in case some more question comes. Now, if not, then all of us have are being given at least four minutes back uh, from the time. So we can use that, uh, you know, uh, if, effectively. And uh, some of us who are in Bombay are probably going to just have a nice cup of tea in the rain. Uh, and, and uh, oh, one question has just come, uh, popped up on the screen. Uh, what is the reputation of star insurance? Sir, uh, I think, no, sorry, Nasreen, you asked this, sorry. Uh, at Get Set Up, we kind of do not a compare or sell or give ideas about any specific company or product. Uh, so no, we won't be we won't be able to comment on the reputation. Uh, the best would be that you 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 have a discussion with your advisor personally, and more importantly, a lot of this is available on public domain. Uh, at uh, at at they are supposed to give their claim ratios. Uh, the regulators is 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 monitor is monitoring all of that, so they do put up their claim ratios. Claim ratios is one way to to kind of judge uh, uh, insurance company versus one. Maybe maybe you can just quickly explain that, Rasika. That's helpful. How does one compare uh, insurance company A versus B? Is it the settlement issues, claim ratios? What is the term that is called that one can quickly get an analysis of? That these these are this is a fairly uh, reputable insurance company. So if you uh, choose the policy with the proper coverages, there is no issue with the time of claim. Okay, so one should not go necessarily by a rating per so to say. Yes. yes. Okay, so the you features. You need to check on the coverages. Features are more important. Yes, yeah. features are more important. And recently, oh. sir, claim is as I told, it's not uh, difficult. Most of the insurance companies are having their in-house TPA. So, Bharka third ad party administrator hey need to uh, you know reject the claim or disqualify the claim or any such issues. Got it. I think just as a, as to sum up the whole thing, why we took this topic up is 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 and and and, and thank you for staying back till probably the the, the entire day is this topic has come back as a feedback from the companies also uh, as, uh, as well as sorry uh, from the community as well. And the community has been asking us many questions with regard to financial planning. And, and many, many times this has come up that how does one tackle the issue of the health costs going up? And, and we've, we've alluded to health insurance being one of the important ways of doing it. And uh, hence, we brought in this topic to have this discussion and put this content across for our members. A uh, very important aspect of that is that, you know, we, we you take usual coverage for our uh, non-living things like cars, house, uh, we even cover travel a lot of people. Uh, but when it comes to health, we start off, we assume that we are healthy, but what's yes. going on inside is also a machine. So regular checkups are, are, are 
equally uh, important. Uh, Shirin again won't be able to answer a specific question about any age limit to switch policy with Ergo. Uh, we don't know which policy you have currently, what is Ergo. So I think specific questions can be done on a one on one uh, discussion. We can facilitate some of those. Uh, please feel free to reach out on the on the email. Maybe once again, Tina, if you could just put the link across, uh, which way to best to get in touch with Get Set Up uh, or or anybody, and then we can facilitate some of those. With that, Tina, could you just put that link again? Yes, yes. Yeah, thank you. With that, uh, we'll end the session. Uh, bang at six. So uh, thank you very much for everyone who joined in, and thanks for uh, the regulars who've been regularly listening in and and tuning in to 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 and, and participating in our in our various activities. And all the new ones, most welcome to keep coming back again and again for many such uh, sessions, as well as download the app and get a lot of information about how uh, you can you can enjoy the best years of your life uh, at this stage, which is people about the age of 55. That's our mission. So enjoy yourselves and thank you. And have a good evening once again. Thank you, Rasika, for thank your time. You thank, you much, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. You're welcome.